1981. A pop princess got physical. Video gives radio high anxiety. Nine to five equals one on the charts. An idol goes solo, and on July 29th, Prince Charles of Wales and Lady Diana Spencer tied the knot in an intimate ceremony with 3,500 close friends and a global TV audience of 750 million. It's a year in music, 1981. Lizzie Hale, and this is A Year in Music, 1981. I wasn't even born yet, but that's what we have researchers and writers for. So let's dig in. It's 1981, and the 80s are finding their groove. That assertive pop princess was Olivia Newton-John, and her steamy video for Physical was banned. But that didn't stop her from winning a Video of the Year Grammy and the album going double platinum. But 1981 brought a change that shook the industry. When the bands moved into your living room. We've gone for main engine start. On August 1st, 1981, a revolution shook up music as we knew it. Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. For fans and artists, music wasn't something to just listen to anymore. This is it. Welcome to MTV Music Television. MTV launched with Video Killed the Radio Star and everybody felt the impact right away. Within two months, record stores were selling music you could only hear on MTV. MTV found exciting new American talent and paved the way for a second British invasion. Bands like Def Leppard, Adam Ant, Madness, Eurythmics, and Billy Idol. Many of the artists had been producing music videos for years, showcasing on the BBC's Top of the Pops. The material was useful in filling MTV's airtime and giving British stars a new venue. The MTV concept was 24-7 music television hosted by VJs. The slogan, you'll never look at music the same way again. Things were a little primitive at first. It wasn't unusual for the screen to go black when a tape operator inserted a VHS into a VCR. Those are two words I haven't said in a while. Lots of fans couldn't get the channel at first, and it wasn't until a few years later that a catchy campaign turned it into a powerhouse network. I want my MTV! I want my MTV! I want my MTV. Pop artists and celebrities appeared on screen asking viewers to call their cable companies and demand MTV. Too much is never enough. And it worked. MTV continued to successfully expand and evolved into MTV networks, adding reality shows like Jersey Shore, Real World, and Total Request Live. The MTV Video Music Awards is still an iconic industry red carpet show. And it all started in a studio in Times Square, New York City, on August 1st, 1981. 